Hi, this is Mark from Esbrick. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your LEGO creation, in our case the famous Esbrick yellow car, with your Windows device. The first thing you need to do is head over to the Windows Store to download the application. I'm going to do that now. You will find the app in the Windows Store. Just search for Esbrick or click on the link below this video to download the app. You'll need to be running Windows 8.1 or higher on your smart device to be able to use the app. The next thing you'll have to do is to pair the phone with the Esbrick so they can communicate with each other. To do this, go to All Settings, then Bluetooth, and then Esbrick. Now let's open up the app and set it up. Once here, you'll want to log in. Pull the menu bar from the left of the device and touch Login. Enter the details you used on the social.esprig.com website. If you haven't registered yet, do so now, it's free. After logging in, we'll need to add a new creation. So we pull the menu from the left side and hit the Add Creation button. This is what you'll see next. Starting from the top, you can give your creation a name. I'm going to call mine Yellow Car. Next you can associate a photo with your creation. Either take a photo of your creation, or if you have already done so, flip through your gallery to find the photo that best suits your creation. Below this are two important bits. The linked profile relates to the layout of your control, basically your GUI while the linked S-Bricks will allow you to choose which S-Brick or S-Bricks are in your model, in our case, the yellow car. There's only one S-Brick in our car, but if you're building something bigger with more S-Bricks, you'll be able to add them here. Now let's add a profile. The screen you will be taken to lists My Profiles look at the top right, but we want to download a public profile, so we click on the top left. The app lists those profiles available to download. I'm going to choose the hand-drawn driving one. The app shows me the download has been successful. Now click on the back button to continue with the setup. Last but not least, we need to add the S-Brick. Touch the button and the S-Bricks available to you will show up. If there's only one, you'll see only one. If there are more, they'll all be here. But we have just one, so let's select that one. Now let's set up the controls. Each S-Brick has four ports labeled A to D. We're going to check them in turn to see what they can do. Let's try A. Let's test the port. We can see that the Jeep's steering is being engaged left and right, so we'll associate A with steering, like so. Now let's try B. This engages the motor to move our Jeep forwards and backwards. As you can see, our forwards is backwards. So we'll flip this around by pressing the invert button, like so. Now it should work fine, and it does. And finally, there's C. This should be the LED light on the Jeep, and it is. If we've set things up successfully, then let's go back to the creations menu. So let's press the back button on our phone. Let's tap on the profile we already added, and off we go. We're really proud of our S-Brick. Not only does it have an exceptional range of up to 90 meters, but it's also compatible with all LEGO power functions. And best of all, you can use it in direct sunlight, so there's no excuse not to come out and play. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or problems, head over to our forums where you'll be able to speak with our developers as well as other users.